Hi guys, I just wanted to share some old newspapers that I have. Now I've been hoarding these for quite some time and I've finally decided to let some go and I'm putting them into my Etsy shop. Actually I've already listed them, you'll see them in there now. I'll put the link to my Etsy shop down in the comments below. Um, now they date from 1946 through to 1965 from memory. And I've listed them in my Etsy shop. You'll see a drop down menu that you can actually select um, the date, the issue date. Because I thought that would be better than just getting one at random. Um, I think things like this, if you're like me, um, I love old newspapers and books. And I especially love things with dates because... I think they make great birthday presents or anniversary presents or stuff like that. So, you know, if your parents were born on the 28th of December 1946, you know, mum or dad was born on that date. I just think it's a great gift to be able to give. And even if you did want to use um, these for junk journals, I think even the cover folded. I don't want to fold it, but... Folded that way, this would make an awesome journal cover, the front page, and you've got the date there, and even giving the journal as a gift for a birthday or anniversary or whatever it is, um, with the date there, I don't know, I just think it's um, so much nicer than some random newspaper. So anyway, get on with it. I've listed them by date, so you can pick which date you want, um, if that date means something to you. Um, if not, yeah, pick any day and pull them apart for junk journals. <laughs> oh, I hate saying that, but, but I know that's what a lot of, uh, a lot of you will do. Um, anyway, let me get on with it. So they're in fairly good vintage condition. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> it's hard to, it, it's hard to say because they're all very different. Okay, so this one is 1946, and this is probably the most damaged one I've got. Actually, there's two like this, where you can see the pages are a little bit loose from there to there. Um, but for the most part, they're fairly good. Some of them have a little bit of staining on the top. But surprisingly, the 40s and 50s are in much better condition than uh, the 60s. Having said that, they're still quite good. So this is probably a good indication of what most of them are like. So they're quite clean. They might have a little bit of scuffing or, or staining or ageing. Um, a lot of them have the rusted staples. In fact, I think most of them do. Probably all of them do. Um, but... This is kind of the standard condition that they're in, this one. Now, if you're a junk journaler, you're going to love the ads in these, <laughs> more so than the articles. Um, the ads in the 40s and 50s were so cool. Um, when the 60s came about, the style really, really changed. Even even the early 60s, they really, really, really changed. So... Um, Oh, in my Etsy as well, you'll see three separate listings. One for the 40s, one for the 50s, and one for the 60s. And I did that just so that you can go to whichever listing easily and not have to scroll through <laughs> a million dates. So look at this. Look at the old car. They're so cool. Bentley. Hoover. Now these are... Um, glossy but the paper's really thick and look at these gorgeous old pictures some are in a sepia tone some are black and white um, later on I think it was the 60s that they int started introducing some color but look at these see these would even make great faux photos or postcards Anyway, I'm not going to um, flip through them all, obviously, but I'll just show it 
show you some from each uh, decade, I think, because you can really see how the style changed. So each article, um, it seemed to have like a people and events of the week. Um, there was a, a science page. That's what I've noticed. It's common in all of them. Look at this. <laughs> the old florals. See, those would make awesome photos. But it's the ads that I love the most. Like, I would just love a whole book of ads. Don't like the old cigarette ads. But um, things like the cars, especially the medicine ones. Okay, these are great. Jacob's Water Biscuits. I don't know how many of these are still around. Because um, I forgot to mention. This is the Illustrated London News. Kind of one of those iconic... Um, newspapers or I think they called them magazines back then but look at this oh it's so cool I love this style this is kind of one of those common style ads that you see look at the old radio so cool GC Anyway, so that's the 40s. Let's see later into the 40s. Wait, that was 46, wasn't it? Wish I had some 30s ones, to be honest. That's 69. <laughs> that's still around, I think. But yeah, it's these ads that I love the most. Look at this. Be good for a gentleman's journal. See, I just keep seeing journals. Gentleman's Journal, Steampunk Journal. <laughs> I love these old, um, the wartime pictures as well. And the cars. The cars are so cool. I don't know if you can see that. But see, you could even cut these out, make little, um, you know, faux photos and film slides, embellishments. I love them. Okay, now I'm making myself not want to get rid of these. See, how cool is this? Farmyard journal. <laughs> See, I just keep seeing now journals, journals. One of them had some... Oh, this was a common thing in the world of cinema as well as in all of them. One of them had a really awesome spread on uh, Japan or China I can't remember but yeah these old ads things like this see for acid <laughs> indigestion driveway Dry fly sherry. Oh, Dr. Bernardo's homes. Yep, that's still around. I could spend forever looking through these. <laughs> anyway, so they're the 40s. I'm trying to be gentle with them, but let's have a look at some 50s. Now, the 50s, I noticed on here, they dropped world events, this line here. What was the price back then? One shilling and six pence. That was December 46. Let's see, how much were they in the 50s? Two shillings. Okay, <laughs> I 
I have no idea. I was born in the days of metric, so I have no idea what a shilling was kind of, or sixpence or anything like that. But The car ads are so cool. When I think of modern day car ads, would you really want to keep an ad for Toyota or Honda or <laughs> of the modern day cars? But look at these, they're all so cool. This is really nice. Einstein. See a lot of a lot of these I've read kind of selectively, something like that. I'd read. A lot of articles on the French in here for some reason as well. And Australia. But I mean London had ties with um well England had ties with Australia, so that's understandable. Look at this. I love these ones. In the cockpit of the plane. Oh, I don't want to see that. See, these are cool. I'm sorry about the glare and it's so dark and gloomy. I hope you can see okay. Okay, these are awesome junk journal fodder. These kind of little... Wait, let me unplug my charger. Whoops. Can you see me? Sorry, it was, my cord was getting in the way. Look at these. The little pictures like this of like the old ladies and they probably had these um, old names. Let's see. Adeline. Oh, they've got only got initials for both, for most of them. Probably Ethel. <laughs> Horrocks. The name in cotton. Oh, Chanel number five. We recognise that. Look at this one. So cool. Make paper dolls with these. Okay, let's see. Let's see the late fifties. See, this is in really good nick. Look at this for the fifties. Okay, let's see. See how the ads started changing. I mean, they're still that really great old style. Like this is this is like a really nice picture. Look at the little girl, so cute. But you can see them slowly changing. Actually, these are the ones I like the best. I like the old adverts with food and um, medicines and stuff like that. Look at this. Milk of magnesia tablets. Ha <laughs> ha. Under present day stresses, more of <laughs> more and more of us find acidity makes digestion difficult or unpleasant. Oh my gosh, I'm too blind to read it. But modern day stresses, gee, if they knew what it would be like in the 2000s. Okay, then let's see the 60s. I don't know why there's just one issue with a different colour there. Otherwise, they're all that um, old red one. Okay, so now we're into 61. And now they've introduced colour. I kind of liked it before they um, had colour. Just the sepia tones. Um, most of it's still black and white though. See, very cool old pictures. Sp 
space. This one had some sort of little poster in the middle. I don't think it was detached because I couldn't see any staple holes. It may be though, I'm a bit blind. Actually, I think it was. Maybe that's come out of the centre. I think this is the only one that had a detached page. I may be wrong though. See how that adds? This is only 61. But you can see the ads have already changed so much. It's funny seeing um, cigarette ads in here because um, cigarette advertising in Australia was banned, gee, a long time ago. I don't know if it was, I don't think it was 80s. I always relate everything back to football because I still remember... Um, the cricket and football being sponsored by, you know, cigarette companies. But definitely 90s, um, it, it was banned here in Australia. See, there's still some good old ads. This one is um, 63. So there's still some nice old ads in the 60s, like those. But I don't like these colour ones. This is kind of, you know, more like today. Oh, look at this car. <laughs> so cool. 8.22. See, I don't know how to read the old uh, imperial prices. But say 8.22 pounds. I don't know, four and seven, what that is. Geo, Amanda, you love this. You're elephant lovers like me and Karen. This little car. <laughs> it's one of those three wheelers, I think. Anyway, look, see, I was meant to do a quick video and now I've started looking through them all again. Let's go to the last one. What was the late, latest year? Ninth of January, 1965. Okay, if you were born on that day, let's see what happened. This is the Japanese one I think I was thinking of. Look at these. Isn't that gorgeous? So even if you don't have um, a date that you're after, or I don't have the date that you're after, like just random ones, you know, for themed journals and ephemera or art journals, I just think they're so cool. Battle at Hastings. <laughs> Chess. I'm a really sore loser if you beat me at chess, by the way. I like, I must win. Anyway, that's it. They're like a little walk through time, step back in time. And 
look, I've got a ridiculous amount. And don't ask me, I've actually given a few away to people that I knew who had a birthday or something on a particular date. I've sent them one. Um, but yeah, so I think these were issued weekly by the looks of it. Um, because they do have like a issue and volume number here. And the ones that I have uh, dates that are quite close together, it looks like they were issued every week going by this. So if you don't see your date listed, it's probably because it was covered under that week, if you know what I mean. So, you know, this is 28th of December. <clears throat> so you wouldn't have had a 29th of December because they were each week. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed them. I, I really love them. I think they're great to look at. And the ads is my favourite, favourite. These old ads. So cool. India ties. Anyway, they're in my Etsy shop and I've put a link down below. And also, one last thing. If you order more than one... um. Make sure that you message me before you buy because I can combine the postage because to um, pay for multiples is the same cost, like postage costs the same whether you order, you know, one or five, I think, when I weighed them. Actually, probably even more. Um, so make sure you message me because these are too big. I don't want to fold them, so I'm going to send them flat. Um, protected by cardboard and they're too big to send as a letter so I have to send them as a tracked parcel which is a bit of a joke because I mean they're not they are quite a meaty <laughs> newspaper they're quite heavy but they're not that heavy so uh, message me first because I'll adjust the listing so that you only pay postage um, for one if you order multiple to save you postage costs. Okay, that's it. I've got a low battery. I better scoot. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.